Hi, welcome to Poet Style Top Tips for Pole Dance Competition Preparation. My name is Mai, and I am the founder of Pole in Style and co-author of our Pole Dance Competition Prep Guide. Today's tip is about budgeting. It is important and sensible to begin to think about your budget and which costs may be involved when preparing for a competition. If you plan to travel to compete, either in the state or overseas, you may have already considered flights and accommodation. Dealing with money should not be stressful. Writing out all your expenses and matching them with your income can be, help you plan ahead so that there are no surprises a week out from the competition deadline. There are six things you should consider in your budget. The first thing is traveling and accommodation. Do you need to book your flights or transport to get to the competition menu? Performing in another continent sounds more amazing and exotic, but if you need to mortgage your house to get there, it might not be the best choice. There are many ways to save on travel and accommodation costs, such as sharing room with a teammate, couch surfing, booking through cold coupon deal websites, uh, Airbnb instead of hotel, or driving across country instead of flying. Think about these things early and book in advance so there is less stress in the lead up to your competition. Second, training. Think about how many times per week or month you will need to factor this into your budget. The studio might give you a discount on booking a book amount hours in advance. Can you book the studio for free in exchange for promotions and marketing? Having a good coach or at least a few sessions with a private instructor will also help your, you polish your routine. Privates are expensive, but having an expert certifies, watch you and critique your ideas will put you on the best path to success. Online coaching may be another option if you cannot find a suitable instructor to work with you on location. It is also beneficial to come to prepare to your private coaching sessions. Know what you want to work on and make the most of your time so you are not wasting money chatting or learning tricks that you don't plan to use in your routine. Cross training with other fitness activities like dance can also greatly add to your skill set. If you are struggling with floor work and transitions, a class with contemporary dance teacher or hip-hop could be well worth the money to give you more movement ideas. If all of this way out budget, taking some time to watch other dancers on YouTube can also be a great inspiration. Do you have a gym membership or would it be better to spend time rather than money heading out for an early morning run? Other cheap but effective cost training can be yoga at home, strength training with resistant bands that can be used with the pole or on their own. If you have family or other responsibilities, this is also the time to prioritize. Do you need to book a babysitter or schedule evenings off so you can train? Let people close to you know about your goals so, and share how important it is to you so they can help you. Next costumes and props. In our Poem Style 2019 survey, 36% of participants spent between $50 to $80 per competition costume, while 29% paid over $80 for a pole dance costume on average. If you have a costume made, ensure that you have enough time to make adjustment or have multiple Fittings. Designers can often have long waiting lists, so budget for extra fee if you need the custom in a hurry. If you buy it online or in store, have a price in mind. We allow you to jump to the perfect outfit to see when you see it. Some performers have backup costumes to reduce feelings of stress and anxiety. You could opt for a second-hand costume or make the costume yourself, which saves you a lot of money. If you're planning on creating new elements of on the stage, factor in how much it will cost for prototypes or multiple copies in case they are damaged through accidents or learning how to move and dance with them. Transporting large, large props can also be tricky and you may need to hire a flat truck or van to take you it from your training space to the venue. 
So remember, this is how much the average uh, pole dance competition participant spent on costume, $50 to $80, but it all depends on your budget. Next, nutrition. Healthy food choices offer you your body the vitamins and minerals it needs to be strong and recovering quickly but need to be expensive. Make the time to prepare meals in advance, buy in bulk, resist the urge to snack on junk food for energy boost. If your budget allows, consider adding protein shakes or supplements to your diet under the guidance of a trainer or health professional if you find you are needing more balance to your training needs. And next thing, number one, number five is self-care. Competition training can be very stressful. Your training should include an appropriate amount of rest days as well as massage or physiotherapy sessions. If you cannot find a, afford a regular massage, invest in a foam roller so you can treat yourself to some tension relief at home. South bath, muscle relaxation creams, bruise treatments will also help your body recover from hours spending in the studio. And finally, other things that you may want to consider in your budget. A video camera to record your training and rehearsals. Personal transport, including petrol for your car or public transport to and from your studio during training. Grip aids, workout clothes, shoes, training and recovery props like foam rollers, resistant bands, ankle weights, headphones, speaker, music devices, hair and makeup, including for practice trials, rehearsals, and on the day of competition. You'll find more tips about our, in our competition prep guide. The guide contains more than 100 pages with useful information on budgeting, how to fundraise for your competition if you have limited budget, training program, music, choreography, and floor work, what to do pre, during, and post competition, dealing with stress and anxiety, worksheets and calendars for your planning, and so much more. It is the result of one year research combining both personal experience, online resources, academic journals, interviews, and surveys. You can get this guide as downloadable PDF version or printed version. Visit poinstyle.com to find out more. Remember, writing out all of your expenses and matching them with your income can help you plan ahead so that there are no surprises in the week out from the competition deadline. Hopefully, you're still a few months away from your competition and have time to plan and budget these expenses to ensure your preparation are smooth and easy and don't get in the way of your rehearsal training.